Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this video I'm going to show you new trophies from the seats of the Paris and also share something that Peter in Andy Rilo's Discord channel did find out about the new DLC. I leave a link to Andy's Discord and to Andy's channel in the description box down below. The first trophy is do what is right and for more information Complete the Seeds of the Paris campaign. And of course this is the Seeds of the Paris trophy. The next trophy is Know what is right. This is silver. And you need to complete all of the territories of Frankia. So that is pretty simple. You have to complete everything in order to get this trophy. The next trophy is V Nobles Tree. Defeat all three Frankish nobles and I believe this is something like the Children of Danu in Wrath of the Druids DLC. In advance I am sorry if I butchered this but Vive la Resistance reads maximum infamy in the rebel missions in Seeds of the Paris and I believe this is something like King's Please in Wrath of the Druids or something like that. The next trophy is hidden but we can get the information by Pressing square on PS and future past. Enter the Assassin Bureau in Frankia. So there is gonna be Assassin Bureaus in France. That is actually pretty cool. Bad Bull is gonna be our next trophy. Defeat the Ghost Orok boss. So I don't know what that is, but I think we will find out soon enough. Vandenge. Kill an enemy with Skite while wearing a full Reaper armor set. And yeah, new weapons, new armor coming in Seeds of the Paris and Vandenge is actually the annual grape harvest, especially in France. Next trophy is gonna be pointless. Pat the cats. Pat all the cats in Evreux. I don't know how to say that, so sorry if I did butcher that name, but yeah, pat the cats, all the cats in that place. Les Masses Day, complete 10 rebel missions in Seeds of the Paris. So there is no extra info needed at this point. Let's take a quick break from all of that reading before we are moving on to the spoilers of this video. So spoiler warning coming. Like I did mention in beginning of this video, link to Andy Reload's Discord and to his channel will be found in the description box down below. Thank you Pedro for founding this and and reloads will go much deeper with this one. But here we go. Frankie Rebel Mission Summary Info. We'll get this from Frankie's character to help us in the fight against royalists in various Frankie regions. So this is just like or bit like a royal demands in Wrath of the Druids. Successful missions will raise rebels in Femi which will get us better rewards and also mean harder enemies. The reward currency is deniers, which can be used to purchase rebel allies upgrades. The number and gear of the squad members can be upgraded as rewards. The pieces of reaper armor are some of the rewards as well as tattoo sets and etc. There's a variety of different mission types more than standard red type. Some of the missions have fail conditions unlike red ones. For missions we can choose to do them solo, at least better do things. We are gonna get greater rewards if you are doing them solo rather than recruiting Frankish rebels to help us. The squads will meet you at the objective and help when needed. They can be either ranged or melee squads and I think those are actually the rebels. This and much more will be in the future video of Andy Reloads. So huge shout out to you Andy and to you Peter. You are awesome. So thanks once again letting me use the info that Peter did find out. And let's see couple risings of the Eivor before we are ending. But like always, thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of my future uploads or live streams. Have fun, stay safe, be strong my vikings, Scotha over and out and bye bye.